loved ones, Mad Dog 32, aka JMW Dolphin fan. We're back playing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Without further ado, let's get back into it. The last we left off, about to talk to the Sons of Ragnar. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Stranger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Mm. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies. Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. <laughs> I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok to the Mercian fields. It's rough, bruh. It's rough out here. I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. Mm. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Ah. Imagine they're weeping when we throw them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. Your brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. <laughs> I feel like me and you are quite more similar than uh <laughs> than our brothers. <laughs> Don't play me for a fool, Abba. Oh god. I'm not going anywhere, Backrut. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. You can if also die. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Shoo. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Ivar, <laughs> wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. <laughs> I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. <laughs> He'll be a new king for a new England. 
For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that Inesia's king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. <laughs> this request is fair, Ivar, and we will. Yeah, we gotta do it. Unfortunately. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember Once again, I'm just agreeing with him because he's my brother and he's got a so point, yeah. We, we gotta, between my clan we gotta make him crown. king fairly, not by bullshit. On his throne and you will have it. I swear. One second. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. Uh. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. Okay. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. The Kingmaker Saga. Okay! Lively town. Quite a lot to see here. I would like to check thou merchants. The general goods traders sometimes have neat weapons. What can I tempt you with? Oh, that's a good one. Huh. It's just your style. Design for the face tattoo that can be applied to a protective. Oh, okay. You clearly have an eye for these things. This would look very fetching. Original hair? Until next we meet. Right now good. I'm looking for good hair or beards. Ah, the dock is right there. to the gates of Tamworth will flood the fields and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom Eivor is your axe sharpened I have a sword and an axe spearden. but and the mostly of shields. yes it's good to have you with us to fight beside such legends is an honor I've only heard tales of your conquests 
Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of War. One does not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Okay. Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings. Like, hey, bro, if he actually said to bring him, then he fuck it, I guess. He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. <laughs> oh, I thought. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Oh, I thought we were going by boat. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> and both eyes open. You smell that, Trailbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. I'll pick up the pace. Come on, y'all got full bred horses, man. Come on. It's Jail Wolf's way of proving his loyalty. Oh, it's Jesus. A place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Go! Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. <laughs> not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones <laughs> who remained, anyway. Have That's so petty. Himself. That's so petty. Was this a mass exodus from Norway then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull song, Norway has one king. Uh -uh. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, I mean, Harald four is a, is a reasonable amount, ideas. though. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I can young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. This is a nice, interesting, like, horse dialogue. It's not, like, super crazy, but actually, you know what's funny? Riding in like this reminds me of, um, Red Dead 2. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my skull. Scold? <laughs> it sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. I mean, because at the end of the day, you kind of fucking are, dude. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, game, come on now. I gotta get a new horse. Gotta try to get a cool one. I know, like I said, there's wolves. That'd be nice to have one of those. <laughs> Well, hopefully this goes well. We don't have to slaughter half a village. That'd be unfortunate. One second. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Will you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. So I'm taking that as a. Tonight. Taking that as a. That's not a, a peaceful resolution. Hey, watch out, you mad dog! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm oh. of ours. You're strong and that. <laughs> Next quest oh. All right, Captain. <laughs> We're storming the base. <laughs> yeah, to test your skill at all, Og. Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Yes, sir. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. 
Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. That's what it is, bro. You fight or hide. We're gonna cut it here, but we'll come back the next one. Obviously, we'll continue on uh, with this raid. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch y'all next one. Peace.